So, Kobe, I guess, first of all, just kind of how did it feel just kind of getting the, the spring game in and just enjoying the atmosphere when we're kind of the Liberty Bowl? Oh, uh, you know, it was a great feeling because we haven't been in here for a spring uh, game since, what, early 2019. So just to be back in Liberty Bowl with the fans almost it's like a big capacity, it was fun again just to have that energy and crowd out there. It was major. Did it feel a little bit different just even though you guys had fans here last year? Did it feel, did you feel the energy just a little different tonight than maybe before? Oh, uh, definitely. You know, just to have more people in there is always a different feeling because last year it was maybe like a handful of people in the stands. And you can hear yourself talking, but tonight it was it felt a little more electric in there today. Who we got next? What do you, where, where's this team at? You said, I mean, you're, you're a veteran. You've been right. used to the press before. Now that you're kind of spread, where, what, what sort of progress do you think you guys made over the past year? Oh, the team definitely took major steps um, coming in from the first day. Um, we have, a lot, like I said before, from the first interview I did during the spring, we have a lot of young guys, but they stepped in quick and they made plays early. And they're guys that we can rely on in the fall. It's just coming in and keep getting the playbook, get comfortable out there and building their confidence and keep teaching them the, the ways of being on the field. And then, like I said, the biggest thing is confidence. But I, I think we took a major step this spring. And I like, I like the way we're going. Speaking of confidence, just got to see a little bit of uh, Julian Barnett out there making plays. How excited, how, what has he brought coming to you guys, just you know, coming in as a new guy? Uh, he just he brought that swag that we already had, and he just added a little more to it. Um, he has the confidence. Y- y'all heard him on on his own interview. He said it. He already had it. We didn't have to get it out of him. He came in the first day competing just from the first workout. We already saw what he had in him. So just for him to be able to be a playmaker, it helps for the back end. How much better has it been for you actually having a spring this year and not you know going to a game versus not having one last year and going to the season? Oh, it helps a lot because now we can, we can have guys get a lot more comfortable with the playbook. Last year, we just went right in the fall with the new defense, and we had to just go week in and week out with different play calls. And, and over time, you know, we grew as a defense. And we got comfortable with it. But having the springtime, as long as well with the summer and more meeting times and, and walkthroughs, it helps a lot. Anyone else for Jacoby? All right. Thank you. Oh, actually, sorry. My fault. My fault. Oh, yeah. uh, on, on Zoom, Brian, go ahead. Hey, Jacoby, what have you seen from the offense uh, during the spring game that maybe you didn't see during the spring practices uh, so far this spring? Oh, they made plays. They um, they were still electrifying. They were still running the ball, as always they do in practice. Um, they're competing. Um, I didn't really see anything slack off from them. They, they kept they kept the foot in the gas. As um, We just wanted to see a lot of those, those younger guys keep making plays because they're going to need to be able to play in the fall. But just to have those guys step up tonight and show what they can do was, was helpful. And follow up on that, uh, what do you think you need to do personally, um, you know, in the fall to get prepared for uh, this season coming up? Just just um, stay more in the playbook and understand the schemes of things. As a lot, a lot of you guys know, I moved into the slot at nickel. So um, I, it's just really getting more understanding of the playbook and the, and the small things that break down with Coach Mack and Coach Clark. We can get in the film room, understand what I have to do. And like I said, it's just that's my personal goals. And then just keep making plays as I always do. All right, thanks for the time, Jacoby. For sure.